Installing Talk 2.0 on your PC is easy to do and it only takes a few moments. This means that you'll be up and running in no time at all. I'm going to begin by opening up my computer. Now whether you're installing Talk from a DVD like this or whether you've downloaded the full installer or the demo installer, once you've extracted these files, the procedure is the same for both. As I'm already extracting, I'm going to use the downloaded files. These include the EXE itself, as well as some license-free music to get you going. There's a drivers folder containing software for the exponent and the connective, as well as a documentation folder for the hardware and Talk itself. OK, let's install Talk. Double click the Talk 2.0 EXE and choose a language. Once you click Next, the welcome screen will appear. Take a moment to read the software license agreement and then agree to the terms. Verify where Talk is being installed and check the option to create a shortcut on the desktop. You're now ready to install Talk. The installer will then begin to write the files to your hard drive. It'll only take a few seconds, but once it's completed, click Finish and you're done. You might want to take a few moments to clean up your workspace by closing any windows that are still open. You're now ready to launch Talk. Now, the first time you launch Talk 2.0, you'll have to activate the software. Click the Next button to start the activation process. Now, if you have an internet connection and you've purchased Talk or a Talk upgrade, then internet activation is what you want. Enter the serial number that you received via email. The serial number is 25 characters, all caps and all letters, while the system ID consists of only numbers. Click Next when you're finished. Now, if the computer that you're using is not connected to the internet, then use manual activation. You'll need to make note of your machine ID and using another computer, go to activate.avid.com, enter the serial ID, serial number and your machine ID to activate and retrieve your activation key. Enter that into Talk and hit Next. You can also call and retrieve an activation key via phone support. Now, if you just can't wait to get your hands on Talk 2.0, you can always activate the 30-day trial. Nice. Next up is the Setup Assistant. Now, if you are a bit of a novice or just new to Talk, then maybe the automatic setup is better for you. Clicking Next will give you a summary of how Talk has configured your system, including your music and your iTunes library. Click Next and you're ready to start using Talk. However, if you want to go through and be a little bit more particular about your setup, you can choose Manual Setup. Let me show you. First up is your audio driver type, Direct Sound or ASIO, and then the audio device itself. Now remember that DJs usually prefer to have an extra set of outputs for using the headphone cue mix. As the exponent has one and it's installed, I'm going to choose it. Next is mixer mode. Do we let Talk do all the mixing internally or do we have a hardware mixer? Next up is deck mode. Talk 2.0 now features up to four decks simultaneously, A and B on the left side and deck C and D on the right hand side. Now I'm going to use two deck mode, more conventional, but now you can see that we have just one deck on either side. Next up are your MIDI ports, on or off. The exponent has two ports, the USB port and its own in and out port. Now for your music setup. By default, Talk uses the music folder for the current user, but you can change it to anything you like. Next, iTunes setup. Again, Talk looks to your default iTunes library. And that's it. You'll now get a summary of all of your changes and your system is now configured and you're ready to start using Talk. Now, if while running the trial version, you purchase a copy of Talk, you can get back to the activation screen from the preferences. You can see that the trial is active, but when we enter the serial number and our system ID, Talk will activate your full license. 
Talk is now authorized to run on this computer. Now, if for some reason you want to run Talk on another computer, just go back and deactivate your license. Fantastic.